Have you ever imagined how different your life would be if you had only made another decision or a situation had never happened to you? The life of young Natalie Bennett is divided into two parallel realities, where in one she must face the difficulties of motherhood, and in the other she pursues her professional career. Natalie is a 22-year-old who is about to graduate from the University of Texas, Austin, and she has her whole life planned out. She is a great artist who hopes to graduate with honors, move to Los Angeles, and impress her bosses with her drawings to film her own animated movies. The story begins with Natalie studying in the library with her friend Gabe. He finds it difficult to win his final exams, so she helps him study, and they proceed to talk about future projects. Her, as an artist in Los Angeles, and he, on tour with his band. They both sneak down the halls of the library, and he offers her a drink to toast, because his band is getting a sponsor for their tour. Natalie screams with excitement, and hugs him effusively. Gabe tells Natalie to stop worrying, since her plan five years into the future is already coming true, and she should enjoy the present. Natalie flirtatiously hints at what the two of them could do to enjoy the present. They quite liked each other, so they decide to get intimate as friends. Days later, on the night of the graduation, Natalie finds herself at a party, throwing up in the bathroom. Her friend Kara, worried about her, comes to help her, and brings her some pregnancy tests, to rule out the possibility that the reason for her illness is that she is pregnant. Natalie was incredulous and scared, but she still decided to get tested, while her friend supported her that everything would be fine, and she should calm down. At this time the story is divided into two parallel realities. There is a Natalie who tested negative, and the Natalie who tested positive. The Natalie who is not pregnant, feels a great relief, and she and her friend are glad, that it was just a scary moment, and continue to enjoy the party. The Natalie that is pregnant, is completely bewildered and worried about her future, and takes Gabe from the party to a more private place, to tell him the news. Gabe was in shock about Natalie's pregnancy, frustrated at how it could have happened, if they took precaution. Natalie was still very confused and worried, but Gabe was very understanding, and showed her support, in whatever decision Natalie made with the pregnancy. Natalie was still sad, about how her plans for the future were interrupted by the arrival of the baby. Natalie tells Kara of her decision, that she will no longer be able to accompany her to LA. Her friend tells her, that then she won't go either, but Natalie insists that she must go, and follow her dreams for which she has made an effort. The Natalie who is not pregnant, is excited about this new chapter in her life, and leaves the university with her friend to Los Angeles, while the other Natalie, still heartbroken, leaves the university with Gabe, on her way to her parents' house to tell them the pregnancy news. Her parents receive her with confusion, when she arrives, since they believe that she should be in Los Angeles, but Natalie tells them the truth when she arrives, and they are shocked with the news, and with the interrupted future of their daughter. Natalie asks them if she can stay with them for a while, even with many questions, they judge Gabe for being a drummer, and they doubt that he will support Natalie with the baby, and they begin to argue. The parents decide to talk outside on the porch of the house, while a nervous Gabe raises the possibility of getting married to Natalie. To her it seems a tender gesture, despite the fact that her parents are angry with both of them. But Natalie refuses, and reassures him that he shouldn't do that, and that he should marry someone he really loves. Gabe seemed to want to marry her, but he accepts her decision. The other Natalie and her friend Kara arrived in Los Angeles, overly excited, and in awe of how beautiful the place was. Once settled, Natalie is about to look for a job as a cartoon illustrator, but it has been difficult for her because all the jobs are without pay. She suddenly sees Lucy Galloway's announcement looking for an assistant. She is an animation designer, whom she admires so much, and although she had doubts Natalie decides to apply for the job. Natalie in Texas wakes up because she hears a noise in her room, and realizes that it was her parents exercising there, because when she went to college, her parents turned that place into a home gym. Her mother was still angry with her, her father a little more understanding of her situation, reminded Natalie that she must apply for job applications, and about her appointment with the obstetrician. The Natalie and Ella still can't get a job. Her friend Kara was about to leave for her first day of work, and Natalie was on her cell phone reading that Lucy Galloway is having a tall story animation event that night, so Kara suggested that she should go and make some impression on her. Natalie considered it as she was still worried about staying unemployed. Natalie decided to go alone to the tall story event, unsure if she was doing the right thing or not. Before going in, she decided to go to the bar for a drink of tequila, and there she met a handsome young man named Jake, whom she told him she wanted entry to the event because she didn't know anyone in town, and she wanted to introduce herself to Lucy. Jake encourages her to go in, even though she was nervous and scared. Natalie managed to get inside, and started looking for Lucy, but she wasn't there. Natalie was going to go home to look for more jobs, but Jake told her that she should stay a while longer. The other Natalie was in the kitchen, talking on the phone with her friend Kara, who was telling her how life was going in Los Angeles without her, and Natalie was telling her that she feels very tired all the time, and that she hasn't had time to draw. Natalie felt bad so she hung up, and started crying about how terrible she felt at that moment, with the turn her life had taken. 
The Natalie in Los Angeles got a call for an interview for Lucy's assistant job. Natalie went to the interview and was very nervous watching the other candidates while they waited, and suddenly Jake sat next to her and told her that he was looking for her CV to help her get the interview. Surprised to see him, Natalie asked what he was doing there, and Jake told her that he worked at Tall Story Animation. Natalie started her interview by telling Lucy how much she admired her, but she shut her down by saying she talked too much. Lucy looked at her drawings and asked Natalie if she would let her draw her face in some drawings. While Lucy was asking Natalie for details of her resume, Impressed by her knowledge of 2D and 3D illustrations, she decided to hire her, but not as her assistant. Natalie in Texas was at the obstetrician along with Gabe, and they found out with great excitement that they are having a girl, and they were already preparing everything for her birth. The other Natalie was having lunch with Jake, who encouraged her that she would get the job she wanted, and told her that he wants to be a documentary filmmaker. And like her, he also had a plan for five years in the future. Natalie was amazed that someone else thought like her. The most awaited day for Natalie in Texas arrived. She was at her house with Gabe reading parenting books, when she suddenly had very strong contractions, and everything indicated that the baby was about to be born. Both were very panicked and arrived with their parents at the hospital. After much stress and contractions, the baby was finally born, completely healthy. Overjoyed and relieved at her arrival, they held her in her arms and named her Rosie. It was Jake's birthday and at the animation studio they had a lot of goats for some drawings. Since Jake loves animals so much, he took them all out of their cage and unleashed chaos in the office. Natalie, incredulous about the situation, began to laugh at him, but she helped him and when she saw him there together with those goats, in her eyes one could see that she was starting to like him. Meanwhile, Natalie and Gabe deal with parenthood, with crying in the early morning, and dirty diapers. Natalie was still sad, when she saw the photos of her friend succeeding and meeting so many people in Los Angeles, and she couldn't be there to witness it. Natalie begins to remember the day her friend had recently arrived in Los Angeles, and had called her to tell her how things were going there. Natalie had been left crying after hanging up the call. Her mother entered the room, where she was, and began to comfort her, and show her support by saying, that what she felt was normal, and pregnancy is mourning for the person she used to be, before becoming a mother. Natalie decides she wants to cut her hair, her mother helps her, but Natalie doesn't like how the cut turned out, because she thinks it's a mom cut. But her frustration was not really because of the cut. Natalie felt that she no longer had a life, she felt alone, tired and useless. Gabe comforts her and encourages her by telling her that she was a great mother and that she is beautiful. They both look at each other with a lot of intimacy and affection that they have built during this time. She loves him and knows that he will always be there for her. Six months later, Natalie, Gabe and Natalie's parents celebrate with much love and joy that Rosie is now a half-year-old. Los Angeles Natalie dares to give some ideas for a Lucy Galloway project, but is completely ignored by her. That night Natalie tells Jake of her frustration, and that she is considering quitting. Jake tells her that he has another job offer on a small documentary production, where he would get paid less, but he would have the opportunity to be a director, and Natalie encourages him to take this job. Later, Jake and Natalie go out to eat at a restaurant, and talk about what they would like their future to be like. They were chatting animatedly, and Jake stares at Natalie, she nervously asks him what he thinks, and he tells her that for a long time, he didn't feel like he was where he should be, he didn't feel like he fit in in Los Angeles, but with her he felt right where he should be. Natalie also feels the same, they were both destined to meet, they stare at each other for a moment and kiss. Days later, Kara comes home, and the upstairs neighbor flirts with her. She is confused and laughs and walks into the house, to find Jake and Natalie kissing on the couch. Jake introduces himself to Kara and leaves. Texas Natalie arrives at Gabe's new apartment to congratulate him on this achievement of him. She sees the drums and starts playing, and he teaches her how to do it right, when suddenly they look at each other and kiss intensely, but she breaks the kiss. Natalie looks confused by what just happened, because the last time something happened between them was the pregnancy thing. Gabe proposes to Natalie that she and Rosie should move in with him but she refuses, because she doesn't feel ready to live with him yet. He tells her that they should try to have something serious, but she is afraid that the relationship will go wrong and affect Rosie and lose this parenting that has worked for them all this time. Natalie, very sad, tells him that she doesn't want to risk the relationship they already have and that he should start looking for someone else and make his life. Gabe was sad and disappointed by her decision, but he accepted it anyway. Days later, Kara arrives in Texas to visit Natalie and Rosie, both telling each other how much they miss each other. Kara looks at Natalie's notebook where she records everything about her baby and tells her the story of how they called her Little Al. Kara asks Natalie why Gabe has his own apartment 
and Natalie tells her that she was overwhelmed by her feelings for him. So it was her idea for him to have his own space, for him to meet someone else and make his life, ruining the possibility of being with him. Some time later, Rosie was already four years old, and Natalie already had some time to devote to her drawings. In Los Angeles Natalie was still very happy with her relationship with Jake, as she watched him succeed as a documentary filmmaker. Jake proposes to Natalie that they should move in together, and she agrees. One day, Natalie was with Rosie and her parents at a barbecue and Gabe's girlfriend, Miranda, showed up. Natalie looked jealous and affected by her appearance, and tells Gabe that she didn't expect Miranda to be there that day, and that she didn't want her to know that she still lives with her parents. Gabe tells her that Miranda is part of his life, and she must accept it since it was thanks to her rejection that he was able to meet her. Natalie faked a smile, as she contained the sadness at that comment. Los Angeles Natalie was in the living room of the house with Jake, when Kara entered kissing the neighbor, both of them were amazed and happy for her. Natalie had something designed, that she wanted to show Jake to get his opinion. He was completely amazed by her drawings, and advise her that she has to dare to show those illustrations to Lucy. Natalie dares and asks Lucy to please look at her portfolio with her drawings, and she accepts. That night Natalie was with Jake complaining about the delay to give her an answer, about what Lucy thinks about her portfolio, and talking about possible apartments to move into, but Jake wasn't listening to her, he was behaving strangely and he looked worried. Jake tells her that there is a project in Nova Scotia, and he must be gone for six months or a year. She asks him if they're not going to live together anymore and he says they can move, but he won't be there for her for a while. Natalie reassures him and says that everything will be fine between them, and this was a great opportunity for him. Texas Natalie decides to go visit her friend Car in LA, so she leaves Rosie with Gabe so she can have a week to herself, and enjoy being in another place. Natalie arrives very excited to finally visit Los Angeles with her friend. They go out to have breakfast, and Kara tells her if she wants to go to the baby shower of a classmate from their university in Texas. And Natalie accepts and thanks her again for receiving her at her house. Natalie stops at the restaurant's juice bar, and runs into Jake who accidentally spilled juice on her. He apologizes and buys her a few drinks in the form of forgiveness. Natalie tells Kara that she can't imagine living in Los Angeles anymore, because she finds it overwhelming. Kara laughs at this, and tells her that maybe she was meant to have Rosie. Natalie from LA is stressed looking for an apartment for her and Jake, and because of the little communication she has had with him since he left. Since he has a very bad signal in the place where he is, and there is also a big time difference between them. Natalie from Texas is still at Kara's house, when she receives a call from Rosie saying that she misses her. Natalie asks where Gabe was, and Rosie tells her that he wasn't there, that he had left her with a babysitter since last night. Natalie very worried that her daughter is with a stranger, she tells her daughter that she will be leaving soon, and calls Gabe angrily, but he doesn't answer. Kara goes to the living room to ask Natalie if she wanted to go to the beach, but Natalie tells her that she has to go. Kara, confused and disappointed, asks what happened because she just got here yesterday. Desperate, Natalie tells her that Gabe doesn't answer his phone, and left Rosie with a stranger. Kara tells her that she had already asked for the entire week at her job for her, but Natalie tells her that Rosie was more important than any plan on the beach. Kara tries to act understandable but on her face one could see the sadness of seeing her best friend leave her. Her girlfriend comforted her while Natalie desperately packed her things to leave. Los Angeles Natalie was working, when Lucy asked her to sit down with her in her office. Lucy told her that she is very talented, but she feels that she lacks a greater impression of herself in her drawings, so she fires her, because it was time for her to find her true voice, or way to be more original or inspiring with her talent. Natalie tearfully calls Jake to tell him this news and seek comfort from him, but things weren't working out between them, she felt disconnected from the relationship she strives to maintain, and he doesn't seem to care. Jake asks for her forgiveness and for her to understand that he is doing the best he can, and he is in a difficult situation. Natalie tells him that it is better to break up. He is sad and stressed, but accepts this decision, and hangs up the phone. Natalie is now unemployed and single, crying over how things had gone wrong for her. Natalie from Texas comes to Gabe's house to take her daughter home, and argues with Gabe about leaving Rosie with a stranger. He is disappointed that Natalie had to leave her trip, just because she didn't trust him, and tells her that he left her daughter with his girlfriend's sister, because she went out with Miranda to propose to her. Natalie was taken aback, she began to laugh nervously at how she had reacted. And when she leaves his house, she is sad to know that the person she loves would marry someone else because of her. Natalie from Los Angeles arrives at her parents' house in Texas to seek comfort from them. They receive her with great joy and affection. She is dejected that everyone around her has their life set up with children, marriages and meaningful jobs, and she has none of it. 
Natalie decided to accompany her friend Cara to the baby shower of a classmate they had in college. But everything goes wrong when that event only makes Natalie feel more useless and reminds her that the life she had planned didn't turn out the way she wanted. She argues with her friend Cara and leaves the party frustrated. Natalie from Texas is drawing when Cara comes to visit her. Natalie apologizes for how she acted in Los Angeles. Cara was very understanding and she accepted her apology and supported her in her decision to focus on her daughter and her job and not on Gabe. At this moment, both of them, due to their mixed feelings of nostalgia and passion for drawing, are dedicated to drawing and focusing on their creativity and exploiting their talents as artists. Both work day and night from their home in Texas and decide to present their animated shorts on the internet. On Rosie's first day of school, Natalie meets up with Gabe and Miranda to witness this exciting day for Rosie, and Natalie hands them both the wedding gift she bought for them. But the moment is interrupted by a call from Kara, telling Natalie that her animated short was nominated as one of the best comics in a contest. Meanwhile, Natalie from Los Angeles was watching TV with Kara, and she got the notification that her animated short had been chosen for a famous festival. They both start jumping with joy after this fabulous news. Natalie and Gabe are seeing their daughter off to school, and Natalie tells him she has a surprise for him. She takes him to her daughter's room and shows Gabe a beautiful drawing of an owl that she painted on the wall. He was delighted with her talent. Natalie told him that her animated short had been selected for a short film festival. Gabe hugged her with great joy for what she had achieved. He was very excited for her and told her that there was the possibility that her band was going to play at the same festival. Natalie was excited to see him play again. They both stared at each other, revealing those feelings they have for each other that they try to hide. Natalie tries to call Jake to tell him the news about her short at the festival, but he doesn't answer, so she leaves him a voice note letting him know that she was proud of herself and that no one in the world could understand how she felt more than him. For both came the time of the festival. The Natalie from Texas was at a conference, saying that her daughter's sleep routine was what inspired her to create her animated short, receiving a lot of support from the public. While Natalie from Los Angeles was with her friend Kara, when they saw outside of a bar that Gabe's band was playing there, Natalie met him and they greeted each other happily. He couldn't believe that after five years, he would see her again. Gabe was famous with his band, he was married and expecting a child, and she told him about her presentation of the animated short at the festival, and told him wistfully about the pregnancy test that came back negative that night at graduation. The other Natalie was with her daughter and her parents enjoying Gabe's show. When he finished, everyone congratulated him on how amazing he was at the presentation, including Natalie's parents, who had doubted his talent from the beginning. Natalie was surprised not to see Miranda at the show, so she asked Gabe why she hadn't gone, and Gabe told her that they had broken up. Surprised, she asks him how he felt, and he says that he was better, he remained silent and told her that Miranda was not her. Revealing that Gabe had always loved her all this time, Natalie was stunned by what he had just said. Jake was outside the festival desperately looking for a ticket to enter the event, and surprised Natalie. She was just leaving, and she ran into him at the entrance. He was stunned to see her after so long, she was confused to see him, and asked him how she was able to go from Nova Scotia with so much work. Jake says that it wasn't easy, but when he got the message from her that she would be at the festival, he realized that he would rather be with her than anywhere else. Moved by his words, she kissed him, and they enjoyed the presentation of the animated short together. On the way out they ran into Lucy, who went to see the animated short, and congratulate her on finding her voice, and offered her a job again at Tall Story Animation in Los Angeles. Natalie and Gabe were walking through the city, and they passed right by the place, where she had given Gabe the news of the pregnancy. They both remembered that moment with nostalgia. Natalie told Gabe that she was wrong all these years to keep him away from her, for fear of ruining their relationship as parents, and that all this time she was completely in love with him. Gabe smiled, relieved that this opportunity had finally been given between them and kissed her. Natalie and Jake are walking by the house where the graduation party was years ago, and she tells him that if he can wait a minute that there is something she should do inside. Natalie and Gabe also passed by, and she asked him to wait for her a moment, that she should do something inside. They both entered the house and went to the bathroom to remember that moment that defined their lives forever. They both looked in the mirror and told themselves that everything was going well in their lives. Despite the adversities, they were achieving the goals they had set for themselves. Regardless of the reality Natalie Bennett finds herself in, she would be fine and achieve her dreams.